Hello, car lovers driving the 2023 Honda Pilot. Ross is in here with me because I'm sick like a dog and I just don't feel like giving it to him. So I said, I'll, you'll take a break for the driving shots, but I'll try to incorporate his comments as I always do. The Honda Pilot is a mid-size crossover. There is a possibility of seating eight on the top two models. There is a 10-speed automatic with a supposedly all-new 3.5-liter V6 that produces 285 horsepower and 262 pounds of torque. Five trims are available. Wheel sizes range from 18 to 20 inches. Prices range from 53,000 to 65,000. Inflation sucks. The last Pilot desperately needed a refresh, especially in the interior and also the exterior. It's good to know that both have been refreshed, things have gotten better. Even the base sound system uses 225 watts. The suspension has been reworked, all pilots come with all-wheel drive. Fuel economy varies a bit, approximately 12.7 liters in the city and 9.4 liters on the highway. The driving characteristics are extra smooth, as are the driver inputs, which is typical of Honda and highly appropriate for such a large vehicle. This is a mid-size SUV. The previous version, although it was good, there was no question it was good, the interior styling was a little bit lacking, and that's all I had to say about that. Uh, they worked on the exterior. I think it's a success, especially in this blue. This bubblegum blue is so beautiful. It looks great. Reasonable sized tires, nice thick sidewalls. It does have an outdoorsy mission. This vehicle is a little bit higher off the ground and fine. The suspension is consequently a little bit softer, but it's still, it's good. Uh, the steering inputs and everything, very good. It, it feels appropriate to what this vehicle looks like. It's what you'd expect. Once again, I'm gonna talk about it, that exterior, how I, I find it so well put together. In fact, kind of like, made me think, you know, uh, Honda's really, uh, they've got the styling down. The last CRV was pretty good, and the, uh, this vehicle's pretty good. So for the, the, the crossover segment, they're really getting their styling down. On the inside now, it's, it's, it's a clinic in Honda ease of use and usability. I bought a Tesla. I don't know, a few weeks ago, and uh, boy, you can tell that's a rookie car company versus this. I mean, this interior is so easy and everything falls so naturally into hand, it's not even funny. The steering wheel comes off, I think they lifted it off the Honda Civic Touring, which is okay. Uh, nice leather, orange stitching. The, the, the climate control, although that has a lot of piano black, so easy to use, my goodness. You don't realize how important it is these things that to be easy to use until you have something that's really not easy to use. The infotainment is small but does the job. Nice colors. Before it was full sun, early in the day, I could read it very easily. Digital dash, very good. This familiar Honda layout with decent quality materials here. Seats are very good. Nice quality leather, durable feeling. They're not like Napa leather, but they're soft. They're still soft. And I think they're, they're a quality that I'm expecting at a price, at, this, at the price of this vehicle. Rear seat room is totally fine. Third row is squeezed, as are all its competitors. That's normal. And when you lower the seat though, you do have a lot of room. There is a high trunk floor line, I would say, which is easier to get things in and out of, but it does cut down on space. This thing is, is, is very refined in its drive quality. It's handling the Montreal Trail. It's like I was driving in a, in another country, right? It's taking bumps so effortlessly. This is the this is the advantage of having the thick the thick wheels, the well calibrated suspension, lifted high off the road. In this trail like environment, it really creates a luxurious feeling. Panoramic roof is so welcome. Now it's become gloomy outside, yet it's not gloomy here on the inside. And I'm very satisfied driving it. And there's a, clearly there's an expertise that Honda has in making. I don't want to say appliances, but tastefully made, easy to use. They don't suck the energy out of you appliances. And with style, with this exterior styling, with this bubblegum blue, for sure I'd buy it this color, no questions asked. That's gonna age well, because it looks so good, right? Especially with the black mags, and the black trim, it's, it's, it's a winner. So this is a very good vehicle. The, 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 the flaw, I would say, it's, it's really not the flaw, but it's, it's the compromise. This V6 and transmission, I mean, yeah, it has a lot of gears, but really the V6 should be a hybrid engine. Because when you're driving in this city, you're gonna be paying 15 to 20 liters per 100 kilometers. We know where we live, we know who we live with, and it's just not gonna work, right? It's just not gonna work. Uh, it, the, the craziness here is, it's just that, right? There's other jurisdictions in this country where the gas is less expensive. You can't fight it. And therefore, the products that consequently you look for 
have to reflect that. And I think this vehicle really needs a four-cylinder turbo. But I guess that, you know, they sell to the Americans also, and they're not there yet. I'm enjoying my drive. I've enjoyed my driving it now for quite some time. And it reminds me, it just reminds me just how, how good Honda is. I mean, they are so, they charge more, but boy, have they got their SHIT together. And that is it.